All right. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, today will be a pretty brief one, not doing a whole lot. Uh, but what we will be doing is getting the quick jacks under the vet, get it lifted up, get the wheels off, get it clean first, and then break out the quick jacks. I don't know what idiot wrapped this up, but shame on them. That was me. I'm that idiot. Well, and these things, I gotta tell you, as much as I like this quick jack, as you'll notice, I'm covered in ATF because for whatever reason, no matter how tight I crank these fittings on, they leak. And then when they stop leaking, the friggin' quick connector starts leaking. It's ridiculous. But never mind that. We're going to get this thing picked up. Oh, quick note about these, I drag them around by the bar, but if you hold these here and try to send them down, you will crush your fingers. It tells you, but my stupid self had to find out the hard way, so you put it down from here. Just something you should know. much as these leaks irritate me this really is a pretty awesome piece of equipment so whoever invented it thanks but do better on your fittings because they suck Hopefully. Almost there. I think she needs a little more fluid. This certainly hasn't gone as I'd wished it would. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Well, okay. For starters, I'm a d and I did this wrong. Try this again. Up we go, hopefully. Okay. 
going. There she goes. Yeah, a little flu goes a long way, guys. All right, she's on the locks. Give her a shake. Yeah, I think we're safe. Excellent. All right, that took far longer than it needed to. Let me clean this crap up and uh, get rock and rolling. A lot better if I had done that in the first place. All right, well, either way, let's get these wheels off. And I already broke the torque loose before I lifted it, so these will just come right off. These are really nice lug nuts. These are truly some gigantic, oh my gosh. Do you guys see the dirt? Well, I'm, we'll do something about that shortly here. see the bend because I see a whole pound of freaking weight here. Ooh, and I see what looks like metal shavings. I bet you we're going to find that I ran these brake pads down to the end of their lifespan, at least on one of these padlets. But we got new rotors, I got new pads, and I guess we'll look at those in a minute once I get these wheels out of the way. We'll see what's going on in the car. Let's see what we got going on here. So, I guess some of you may or may not know with these calipers on the Z06s and uh, Grand Sports and ZR1s that don't have ceramics, they have, oh, they may have them on the ceramic pad cars, I'm not sure, but they have padlets. So, this is for the front set. So, there's Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, this is where the rear's wrong pad set. But anyways, you get the idea. There's six of these little guys in here. And if I wasn't changing the rotors, you'd be able to pull the pins from my understanding and boop, 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 pop them right in. But we're not going to do that because, well, I got to change the rotors anyways. They have a huge lip on them. They're pretty bad. Uh, otherwise, it looks... Terrible, so dirty, so dirty. You can kind of see the dust on it now, but uh, yeah, sorry, my hose in the shop. Um, anyhow, <laughs> we'll get to doing that in just a second. So, yeah, let's take a nice close look here at the uh, the brake situation. So, as you will notice, we have a massive lip. <laughs> I mean. That's millimeters, at least. Uh, see how everything's doing. I guess we'll lay under here and take a gander. Uh, let's see. I do my oil change shortly. Don't mind my wrap job on the headers. Um, I should have done this before it was put together. I didn't. Now I'm paying the penalty, but it's all right. It works. We're looking fairly good down here. Everything's pretty normal. Yeah, these are my the stainless works headers, as seen from the bottom, and the X-pipe. To stock in PP mufflers. But yeah, I guess all things appear well here. Why don't we, let's go look at the back. But these, oh my god, they also have such a ridge on them. That's bad. Um, otherwise though, from what I can tell, oh, do you guys see it? What? What's that? That looks like a missing bolt. Right here. Focus. Right there. Missing a bolt. Bet that's annoying. What do you guys think actually? 
I think I ought to replace these with stainless braided. I'm kind of feeling like I should. It's another one of those stupid things that don't cost a lot of money, but give you a whole lot more confidence in your brake pedal. So I'm thinking I might do that. If anybody has any brand suggestions, I'm all ears. Well, on to the next thing. Let's clean this car. So we're going to use some chemical guys to that a quick detailer. Lug nuts stood up so they can dry out. Set the wheels down, set the caps down. shiny chrome boomer wheels and I'm digging it. Now, I guess before I do the next thing, that needs taken care of because this is unacceptable. And because it works so well on brake dust, I bet you this will work really good on these exhaust tips. today that'll do just fine. I suppose while we're on a cleaning mission we'll uh Anyhow, I'm debating 
I'm debating between different catch cans. Um, there's a can that mounts over here, and there's a can that mounts over here. I think the Mighty Mouse goes over here. RPM sells one that goes here-ish. I'm just not sure what I want to do. Does anyone have any input as to what you run for a catch can? That. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's about all I got for today. Um, I figure next time we will try to get a little bit of the brakes done. So, yeah, I think that'll do it.